This is Susan Bradley for Ask Woody, and just a reminder, uh, I'm going to be doing some videos tonight of how to uninstall an update. Um, I'm seeing some issues about Start Menu, especially if you use like a third-party menu adjustment tool, especially for Windows 11. Um, if you've installed the updates, which again, I have not approved the updates this time, but if you wanted to go early and you've installed them and now are seeing issues, Remember, you can always uninstall a security update. You can't uninstall the what's called the servicing stack update, but I have not seen side effects directly traced to servicing stack. So when there's an update and you have to uninstall it, I'll show you the way to do that. And then you will need to pause to see what's going on and we'll wait to see if Microsoft knows, acknowledges the issue. So let me demonstrate first on a Windows 10. So on Windows 10, you go into Windows Update and you come over here to View Update History. And you see up here this option to say Uninstall Updates. And first off, check to see what got installed. And you can see right here I have had .NET installed as well as the November update, 5032189. So we're going to uninstall that 5032189. So click to uninstall updates, and it's going to give you what I consider to be the traditional view of what the uh, Windows 7 Windows Update screen used to look like. So we're going to find that update. That's our 5032189. There it is right there, and we're going to uninstall it. And we're going to double click, and it's going to say, are you sure you want to uninstall this update? And I'm going to say yes, and then it's going to do its little thing, and at the end, it's going to want to reboot the system. Now, when you get back from rebooting, you want to come back into the Windows Update screen, and you want to pause the updates because if you don't pause the updates, you'll get that update right back again. So remember, go into View Update History, click on that Uninstall Updates, and then come back here after you've rebooted to pause for seven days, if not more. And now I'm gonna show you what it looks like on a Windows 11. So now we're gonna show what Windows Update looks like in Windows 11, and we come into the Windows Update screen, and just like with Windows 10, there's an update history, and you want to click on there. But unlike Windows 10, the uninstall option isn't up at the top. It's all the way down at the bottom. So you want to click on Uninstall Updates, and you want to look for the ones that were just recently installed in November. And um, just an FYI, if you've noticed here, it's not quite as obvious the .NET updates as compared to the security updates. There's the security update down there. And this guy up here, 5032007, is the .NET update. And you can always go back to the master patch list. For those of you that are Plus members, this is the master patch list. This is what it looks like for November. And um, come down here and you can see this is Windows 11 and it's there's the 5032190 and the 5032007 for .NET. And again, if you want to uninstall an update, you just go down to it and click on Uninstall and say Uninstall. And again, just like with Windows 10, unless you go over here and pause updates and choose a period, that update is going to get reinstalled. So make sure you choose the option properly. So again, don't forget to pause updates because otherwise, if you don't pause at least a week, that update will try to reinstall again. So there you go. That's how you uninstall updates from either Windows 10 or Windows 11. And again, Windows security updates are uninstallable. So if you've been, if you went ahead when I told you not to, but if you went ahead and installed an update and now you're having side effects, go into the Windows Update section, go into Update History and uninstall that update, reboot your computer, come back in here and pause 
updates and we will track them and let you know when they're safe to install. Until next time, this is Susan Bradley for Ask Woody. Just remember, don't install updates too soon. We always wait and see if there's side effects and we make sure that they're ready for our systems. And we make sure that we're ready for them too.